Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, wherever you may be in the world. It's Paul's Pack Rips, back with a dual 1981 Pack Rip here. The first uh, editions of uh, Fleer Baseball, um, although I think they had something in 63 that might have been a short run. Anyway, uh, premier edition of Fleer Baseball and the 1981 uh, premier edition of Donruss Baseball. Both of these packs, as you see, you can kind of see through there. Uh, they have the gum on there. This only lasted for 1981 for that one. Feels like it's embedded in the card at this point. Um, 1981 Donruss and Fleer did this uh, until Topps Baseball caught on or Topps uh, Chewing Gum Company caught on and said, nope, can't do it. So I ended up taking Fleer and Donruss to court. One 82 Fleer started putting uh, team stickers into their uh, packs. Look a little something like this. I think this was taken from an 88 or an 89. And then an 82 Donruss uh, started with the puzzle pieces. And you get three pieces to a card in that pack. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and we'll start off with, what do I want to start off with here? There's 17 trading cards in this one, but there's 18 in this. So I'm greedy. Let's go. 18, not a lot. In 1981, um, I think we get Tim Raines' rookie, Harold Baines' uh, rookie card is certainly in there. And again, um, Hall of Famers and Stars of the Day. Oof, is that even coming off? Yeah, oh, look at that. Not a not a clean break. It definitely got uh, Mickey Klutz a little bit there. So let's we'll start that off. I like Therese, and these cards are kind of bent out of shape as well unfortunately good collation on these though so far i've gotten you know different teams throughout is bob welsh joe simpson it's jim morrison a lot of people know that uh jim morrison after his career in the doors he actually did not disappear off of the face of this mortal earth he came back as a baseball player pretty weird johnny grubb enos cabell it's champ summers hey wow uh, it's, uh, look at the cut on that, though. 1981 Ricky Henderson diamond cut. It doesn't make it worth any more. Um, great card to have. Real super bummer that it's cut this way. But um, Ricky Henderson, um, obviously, this is his and everybody else's first Donruss card. His rookie card was in 1980 tops, and that fetches kind of a pretty penny. So um, regardless, I'll put that down there. Put these bad boys over here. Still a cool card to have acquired. Sweet Lou Pinella. Bob Horner. I believe he hit four home runs in a single game. Was that what it was? Paul Mitchell. Pre-hairstyling products days. Gary Templeton. Joe Ferguson. Shane Raleigh. And we're going to close it out with a Steve Henderson from the New York Mets. So, Ricky Henderson. Not a bad, uh, not a bad pull there at all. Too bad the cut is just so terrible on it. Um, I'm going to sleeve it up either way. I think it's kind of a fun card. It's not worth anything really, but just to kind of have that. His second year in the majors, you know, first year card, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to rip open 1981 Fleer. Again, with the gum that just comes right off. That was very nice. Let's get the dust off of uh, Jerry Dubinsky here. Cleveland Indians. And again, not really looking for too, too much. There's a couple of uh, big rookies in here. I um, can't remember if Tim Raines has a card in here. And Harold Baines, I believe, is in here. Uh, Fernando Valenzuela is also a big one that's in here. Sammy Stewart. Always got to, uh, always got to admire the unibrow. And uh, look at what's next. There we go. Harold Baines, rookie. Hall of Famer Harold Baines. And pff, look what's right after it. Daryl Baines rookie is another Ricky Henderson for my collection today. So two 1981 Ricky Hendersons. I call that a good day. Um, I have a lot of these cards. I actually have about six or seven of these. I know probably there are people out there that have tons of these. Um, who knows? Maybe in the future on this channel, I'll start getting into like giveaways or something like that. And we'll, we'll see what we do here. But uh, that's kind of cool. It's a Harold Baines rookie at least. Chuck Tanner. It's Gene Richards. Johnny LeMaster. It's Denny Walling. Let's hoping for that Nolan Ryan. Always hope for a Nolan Ryan. I'm always looking for Nolan Ryan. There he pops. Willie Stargell. And one of his uh, 
final cards hall of famer there we'll put that up on display somewhere trying to keep it on the screen let's move all this over here all right molly backman and i'm not even going to attempt that last name vic from the dodgers closes it out so uh so pretty good uh Pretty good selections from 1981 overall. This pack of 1981 Fleer really did as well. Uh, Hall of Famers, Willie Stargell, Ricky Henderson, and obviously the Hall of Famer rookie, Harold Baines, and uh, this unusual Ricky Henderson diamond cut from 1981 Donruss. It's still going to go in a sleeve. I'm still enjoying it. If you are enjoying this, please hit that like button. Go ahead and drop a comment down below on how I'm doing, what you'd like to see, um, or anything, if I'm doing something wrong, which I probably won't change. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and do that and, uh, go ahead and subscribe. It's free after all. And until next time, we'll see ya.